Our Majesty the Queen! A window into the private lives of the world's most public family, opening once again this morning. You remain loyal to this family. You're in silent. As the fifth and penultimate season of The Crown premiered in London overnight. What the hell is she doing? And before the new royal cast hit the red carpet, we got to meet them. Your Royal Highnesses. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Dominic West plays Prince Charles. Oh, please, just keep going. I, I, oh, no, I can't. Barely needs any more. This is good. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't mind, but he doesn't do that in the film. No. <laughs> in light of the events of the last 12 months, perhaps I have more to reflect on than most. Season five portrays a rocky time for the royals, the 1990s, spotlighting the breakdown of Charles and Diana's marriage. How did it come to this? In the Prince and Princess of Wales are separated. 1992, Her Majesty herself describing it all in Latin as a horrible year. It has turned out to be an annus horribilis. Playing some of the most famous people in the world is high pressure, no more so than for Elizabeth Debicki, who is portraying Princess Diana. Do you stand in front of the mirror and, and kind of try and get the uh, mannerisms right, or is that not the right way to go about it? Oh, I think that would be the worst way to go about it. You know, we feel a lot of responsibility with what we do as, characters, as actors in the show, but we also know that we're not trying to get a likeness, we're trying to capture a sort of an essence, I think. This is how The Crown depicts the moment Charles and Diana told the Queen it's over. This is really what you want. I heard you all saying that you haven't actually seen a lot of the episodes. We haven't seen the whole episode. No, no, seen a few. So I, so I have... Uh, how does it end? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Price plays Prince Philip as he berates his son Charles. They're saying we've pressed the self-destruct button. The Queen, Imelda Staunton, looking on in silence. Oh, it's so good. Is that the first time you've seen that? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. These are tumultuous times within the family, and that's very you know, it's riches for us to play. Um, these are the difficult years. These have been difficult months for Netflix, openly criticised for blurring lines between fact and fiction, including by people close to King Charles and Queen Camilla, like acclaimed British actress Dame Judi Dench. I think the, the public are well aware that it's a drama, it's not a documentary. Some of the criticism has come from people who are friends of Charles and Camilla. Yeah, but they also, those, those particular criticisms came from not having seen a second of, uh, of film yeah. of this series. So why, is it, why do you think they're speaking out like that when they have Well, seen because, it? I mean, they, the assumption is that they, their friend, the Prince Charles, would be damaged in some way. But all we're presenting in The Crown is what happened. Um, and it's obviously happened. I mean, you know, it's all been hypersensitive since the Queen's death. Of course it has. And, uh, uh, you know, everyone's been affected, including us. Um, when the Queen died, uh, we were filming. That's why I think people are hypersensitive at the moment. I think if this was coming out, if this had come out two years ago, I don't think there would be all, all of these comments. You're at a gala, a royal gala, and there you come face to face with the king, or maybe the queen as well. What do you say first? I think the rule is Lovely they speak first anyway. Yeah. No, they speak <laughs> first, that's right. Makes just it bow. Easy. Makes yeah. it easier. Just bow. Season five reimagines intimate and scandalous details from the adulterous affair between Prince Charles and Camilla. But there are certain things that, that are unavoidable, that are such big events that they are, uh, and they're so big in people's imagination and memory that, that not to tackle them would be, uh, would people, I think, would, would feel cheated. With our son and... Leslie Manville plays the Queen's sister, Margaret. I denied you as queen, not as your sister. The conditions are irrelevant. The prohibition is... Still tormented by her royal gilded cage. You get the privilege, really, of seeing them as human beings, which is 
really the gift of the crown and the gift of the scripts. You know, mm. We can say, look at this person. They may be this enormously famous public image, but we can absolutely hone in on them now, and this is what they might have been feeling. For the most recent royal events, we'll all have to wait until season six. The same cast is filming that finale now. Her glories belong to the past and we'll be left with nothing. And you can probably tell, guys, there were moments in that interview that were quite tense. And I think that's probably not surprising, given that this is such a, a delicate moment uh, for King Charles. Just, just to underscore that, take a look at these pictures uh, from today. He, he's in uh, York and someone has thrown an egg. It has... Uh, missed him, and that person who threw the egg is reportedly now uh, under uh, arrest. But I, I guess it just illustrates that the truth can be stranger than fiction. Oh, mm. okay. okay. Glad it's all right. All right, Thank you, Kier. Kier. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.